300 million year old Godzilla shark, identified as new species, gets a new name. A 300 million year old shark relative, nicknamed the Godzilla shark after its discovery in 2013, has finally received a proper name after being classified as its own species. Paleontologists found the unusually complete and well preserved 2 meters long fossilized skeleton of the ancient shark at a private site in the Manzano Mountains near Albuquerque, New Mexico. Standout features of the skeleton include 12 rows of piercing teeth set in robust, powerful jaws, and a pair of 2.5 foot long fin spines on its back. It was nicknamed the Godzilla shark because of its size. The skeleton is the largest fossil of its kind ever discovered in the area. And the reptilian nature of the spines on its back. The shark has now been officially named Hoffman's Dragon Shark, after the family that owned the land where the skeleton was found, and as an homage to its monstrous, reptilian appearance. Hoffman's Dragon Shark belonged to a group of mysterious ancient sharks, known as the Knacanths, which diverged from modern sharks and rays around 390 million years ago during the Devonian period. One of the biggest differences between the Knacanths and modern sharks is their jaws. Their jaws are larger, more firmly attached to the cranium, making them less flexible. These fixed jaws may mean Knacanths were not apex predators as modern sharks are. Instead, the new fossil suggests they may have occupied a different ecological niche. The Knacanths went extinct during the mass extinction event at the end of the Permian period 252 million years ago, which brought an end to the Paleozoic era. However, the exact cause of the shark's demise is still unclear. <laughs>